the question was asking me to please comment on the EPA's uh, efforts on rulemaking to regulate water conveyances. Uh, and, and the issue is called Waters of the United States. And, and a brief history is that for as long as anybody has been around, as long as EPA has been around, the federal government claimed jurisdiction over navigable water bodies. They were considered waters of the United States. So the Corps of Engineers, as the federal entity, permitted uh, issues that related to those navigable water bodies, those waters of the United States. A lot of you have probably are, are in areas that are regulated by the Corps, and, and so you know that that's a special circle of health. <laughs> For those of you who are not in parts of the state uh, where that's an issue, you're about to be. Because the EPA has revised their definition of waters of the United States. From not only navigable waterways to areas that are adjacent to and connecting to navigable waterways, and they further expanded the definition uh, to areas that are seasonally or occasionally wet, including uh, man-made structures, ditches, canals, conveyances. So if you had a farm pond that was isolated, uh, you are probably protected until such time as you have a rainy season and it overflows and, can, and finds its way hydrologically to a flowing body of water that ends up in another flowing body of water that ends up in, an av in what we all used to call uh, water of the United States, an navigable waterway. And for a period of time, they were even including underground movement of water, what they called a shallow subsurface hydrologic connection. Folks, that's the whole state. I mean, the whole seasonally and occasionally wet, that was South Tampa for a solid week earlier this month. And so this is a big deal, this change of definition of waters of the United States. And, and, and what it fundamentally means to landowners is that when you attempt to change your land use from citrus to sod or, from, or to cattle or to row crops, that change of land use will trigger a very expensive permitting process through the Corps of Engineers. And the Corps of Engineers moves in geologic time. <laughs> and and, and th this is very real. Uh, some of you may remember the fight over something called numeric nutrient criteria that was a big deal for Florida. The difference between these two is that numeric nutrient criteria singled Florida out because it was the result of a, you know, a, a, a mediation of judicial action. This affects the whole country and so it, the good thing is that we've got help from other farmers in other states whereas on NNC we were really by ourselves. But this is moving quickly, uh, and we're trying to get Congress to, 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 to stop it by zero funding it, because it's, it's being done by the executive branch, so the only way to stop it in Congress is to not appropriate any funds to implement it, and that's, that's a long shot, getting it through the Senate. And the second, uh, the second way is in the courts, and uh, we're fortunate that our Attorney General, along with a number of other Attorneys General around the country, have filed suit to try to stop it. But that's a longer term fight as well. But this, this will have profound consequences on a state like Florida that is overwhelmingly a, uh, wet for some period of the year. And, uh, and most people think that this is only Ag's problem. Uh, this will have a big impact on Everglades restoration because there are some of our restoration projects that we will have to mitigate as waters of the U.S. even though they are STAs, essentially. So it will add cost to what is already an environmental restoration project. It will be out of compliance. It will be huge for cities and counties, particularly in urban areas where they're moving stormwater through a conveyance to a treatment plant for the purpose of cleaning it. 
they will be out of compliance because that conveyance will now be uh, untreated because it's on its way to the plant. So you'll have to treat it before it gets into the conveyance to take it to the treatment plant. Uh, it, it, this, is, this is a big deal, and, um, and, and so I appreciate you teeing it up because I, I intended to talk about that. But Waters of the United States is, uh, is going to have a big impact on the whole country, but Florida uh, uniquely so.